Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do a wrap-up video, <clears throat> um, mainly to help me um, figure out what I'm going to be doing videos on, um, because I started to get a little bit confused, and um, when I was looking like at my Goodreads list, like I was going to do a video today about like just a review of a book and I'm like you know what let me make note of all the books that I've read this month and all the books I'm reading now and all the books that are on the stack to read so I have like a um, kind of like a visual aid to help me do that so um let me see. No, that's a book I'm reading now, so I won't be grabbing that one. <clears throat> okay. So, um, some of these books um, I've already done videos on, which you know if you've seen them go up. But, um, wait, no, that's TBR. Okay. So, um, the books that you saw that I've read um, quite recently were A Ticket to Hell by Harry Whittington and Black Friday. <clears throat> um, you already know my reviews on those, so that's fine. Um, and with these, I still want to do videos on, so I'm not going to go into great detail about the books, just to talk about them a little bit. Um, I did read another Harry Winnington book, which was You'll Die Next, um, and it had a, um, the 280 Steps version I read had a really awesome foreword by Mike Dennis, um, so I don't know how hard it is to get a hold of that copy of the book, but, um, it is recommended because the, the foreword was really good. Um, then I read, um, let's see, what else did I read here? Spring Fire by Ben Packer. Um, this is, uh, one of the first, um, lesbian pulps. And, um, I know I've done a video on lesbian pulp fiction before, but I think I might want to actually go a little bit deeper into it. So, um, that's something. Um, I read Killing Cousins by Fletcher Flora. Um, and it was quite different. I think, um, a lot of you who watch this channel would really like it. I have, um, questions about it. It was one of those books that you read, and then after you read it, you're like, did I like that book? Was that, did I, did I enjoy that? I read it. I read the whole thing. I never put it down. Did I like it? Um, you know, when you can't tell. So, um, that was that. And then, um, I also read The Vengeful Virgin by Gil Brewer. Um, don't let the name of the book fool you. Um, like, I, I guess I could tell you a little bit about the book. Um, <clears throat> it's about a TV repairman who goes to this house and is, um, going to put in a bunch of, um, stuff into this house where there's an 18 year old woman taking care of um, an old man on his deathbed and um, if you know your noir and you know how to add you'll know what's going to happen next um, and oh and then finally the last book <clears throat> uh that I finished within the last couple weeks, I guess, um, is Kamala Speaks. Now, this isn't um, Kamala Harris, 
but it's Kamala Harris, James Harris, um, the Ugandan giant. Uh, he was probably one of the first wrestlers I saw that completely scared the crap out of me. And I was worried, and I would kind of lean back from the TV, like I didn't want, I didn't want to be too close, and, um, it's his, um, memoir, autobiography, what, whatever you call it, and, um, I'm gonna do a whole video on it, because he breaks my heart, um, he was just the sweetest man that I could, like, out of all of the wrestling books I've read, there doesn't seem to be a sweeter man on the planet than James Harris. And, um, sadly, he died of COVID, um, over the summer. And, um, he just breaks my heart. And he had such an interesting career. Um, just a legend, an absolute legend. So, um, if you are a fan and you remember Kamala, then, um, this book is so good. And I think you could still get, um, signed copies. Um, they obviously shot up in price after his death, but, um, he was selling them through his website. I think it was just kamalaspeaks.com. Um, I could be wrong, but, um, a quick search, you, you'd be able to find that out. Um, so yeah, so this was just a quick wrap up. Um, I'm going to be doing a, um, what I'm reading right now. And that's a little bit bigger. Um, and then I'll do a TBR as well here, which is even bigger than the other thing. So, you know how TBRs are. You put 20 books on it, you read two, and then you read seven books that weren't on the TBR list to begin with. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Let me know down below if you read any of these books and uh, what you think. And if you were terrified of Kamala, because he scared me. Um, so anyway, take care everyone, and I will see you soon.